Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To thee we come, O Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we will go into the altar of God. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and make an examination of our consciences. And now I will offer the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And we will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glo to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear the prayer of Jesus on our behalf. Move us from faith to love and from love to unity, so that we may bear witness to his glory before the world. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. On this, the seventh Sunday of Easter, we take a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. There was a group about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Judas, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, Show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The gradual for today, taken from the book of Jeremiah the prophet. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Alleluia. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Alleluia. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as the Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God God remains in him, and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of our Lord. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. This past Thursday, the Christian Church celebrated the ascension of Jesus into heaven. For 40 days following his resurrection, Jesus appeared not only to his disciples, but to many who would witness this miracle. You know, just outside the old wall city of Jerusalem, on the Mount of Olives, stands a small circular mosque of little architectural or artistic value. In truth, it is rather very simple in appearance. But while this building may appear insignificant to the common passerby, its existence is an integral part of the Christian faith. For in this tiny circular building, maintained by Muslims, there is a spot where it is believed that our blessed Lord ascended into heaven. The most notable part of this mosque is a human footprint preserved like a fossil in a stone floor that is believed to be the right footprint of Jesus in the very place that he ascended from this earth into the glory of heaven. To those who see it, this footprint is a seed of their faith, that not only Jesus ascended into heaven, but that Jesus really is who he claimed to be and is, the word that was made flesh, both God and man, redeemer, savior, and regenerator of mankind, Jerusalem, the city of peace. The city that Jesus went with Mary and Joseph when he was only 12 and stayed behind among the teachers. The city that he came into 
on Palm Sunday, the only time he accepted any kind of acclamation. The city where he was tried and condemned to death by crucifixion. Today in Jerusalem, and especially in Gaza, 60 miles from Jerusalem, there is anything but peace. We have seen wars and destruction for many centuries, and today, in today's news, we are but a few steps away of seeing a total war between the Jews and the Palestinians. It was in Jerusalem that Jesus cried about and wept over and predicted its destruction in A.D. 70. On this seventh Sunday of Easter, we hear the words spoken by Jesus at the Last Supper. He gave his final teaching to his first chosen prior to his passion. As for most of his life, Jesus constantly sought his Father in heaven through prayer. What we hear in today's gospel is what we know as Jesus' high priestly prayer. So what does this most special scripture passage reveal to us? We learn that first of all, Jesus prayed for unity. He said, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may all be one as we are one. Jesus then prays for the protection of his apostles. He continues to say, Where, While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them were lost except the son of destruction. Jesus also prays for their success in spreading his good news. He says, but now, Father, I am coming to you. I speak this in the world that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong in the world any more than I belong in the world. Consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them so that they may also be consecrated in truth. Jesus was to continue to pray unto the Father in the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. But now Jesus not only prays for his disciples, he prays for all believers. He says, Father, my prayer is not for them alone, I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them, and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. We find in the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John, the great I am of Jesus who says, I am the Good Shepherd. But Jesus also says, I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. I must bring them also. 
that they may listen to my voice so that there will be one flock and one shepherd. I am sure, my brothers and sisters, that the ascension of Jesus placed the disciples in a difficult situation and they were put to the test. No longer did they have their teacher walking beside them in a physical sense. But the ascension of Jesus is not the end of his story, but rather a beginning. For the next chapter will take place next Sunday as we gather for the solemnity of Pentecost, where the followers of the Lord gathered into the upper room as Jesus had asked them to and would experience the descent of the Holy Spirit which sealed their ministry which the Lord had spoken unto them. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord's message for unity continues to this day. May we in turn seek our Father in prayer as Jesus did and pray for the peace and the unity for all people, teaching by his example, love, compassion, and forgiveness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of Jesus be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. Alleluia.
brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, receive these gifts from your faithful. May the great happiness you give us now come to perfection in your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his resurrection plainly showed himself to all his disciples, and in their presence ascended to heaven to give a share of his divinity. Therefore, we he join this day with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you. In the first place for your holy Catholic Church that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. Today let us pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, for all victims of the coronavirus, and offer prayers for their families. Let us give God our thanks for the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, and all care workers. In our most humble prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals. Let us also remember in prayer and pray for all those who are victims of violence, both here and abroad. Let us pray for unity in the Middle East and around our world. And let us also offer prayer for all here present and their loved ones whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, 
and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into a his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection in his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and a chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy numbers of their company lord not weighing our merits but pardoning our offenses through christ our lord amen by whom you always create sanctify revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
the high kingdom come, thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. For forever and ever, May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and fall safe to grant it peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What? Shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be safe from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. 
Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. reception of this Holy Eucharist remind us of the countless millions who have not yet heard of the salvation that you want for them. Grant that through your Holy Church they may learn of the way you have prepared for all holy people. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh 
and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish to thank you for sharing with us today uh, our Holy Mass. And it is my thoughts and my prayers that God would be merciful and would bless all of you and your loved ones. We will conclude this morning's service with the offering of prayer for not only the intentions we have mentioned during the canon, but we will also offer prayers for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed. May God bless you and your loved ones, and we invite you to come and share with us again next week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed loved ones, eternal rest, grant unto their souls, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.